Hello everybody, this is Hobo Vikings Cayman. Okay, so here we, we finally got the, the rest of, of friends and family together. Um, and I'm going to then be casting a 2v2 as it's happening. Now, I've never done this before, so we'll see how it works. Um, Lotso, the yellow Protoss. Of course, Hobo Bacon's Han as the green Zerg. Uh, Dashiva, the light blue random. And uh, Hobo Bacon's Steam Jack as the red Terran. So on Isle of Slaughter. So this is going to be fun. I'm super excited about this. So, ladies and gentlemen, in the upper right of the right, we have Lotso, the Protoss. Han, partnering with him. Steam Jack and Dashiva down in the lower left. So Dashiva, that's actually his best race, is a Zerg. So we will we will see how this uh, how this all plays out for everybody. Let's see what kind of openers they're gonna go. So we have a the, the Zerg are the common denominator in this match, um, and we'll see how well they all play together. Their Han is very happy with his uh, Carbots uh, decal. And Lotso is a career Protosser, so we will see how it how it all goes. Steamjack has opted for the the. I assume this is going to be a pseudo wall off. I don't think he's going to wall that off entirely, um, much in the same way that I don't think Lotso is going to um, wall that off entirely. Uh, it, it's really tough to wall off with a, a Zerg player. Deshiva cranking through uh, his his econ right now. So now I wonder if Steam Jack is going to be going for a, uh, a a Reaper opener, or if he even cares enough to. I know uh, he hasn't been playing as regularly as, as some of the rest of us, so we'll see if he uh, if he does go with a Reaper opener. I will actually be very impressed, but I assume that it is going to be Marines coming out of there. Han, it looks like, yep, and he's going over for this expansion here. The Expand Before Pool, which is a good econ build, but it might be offset by this uh, Pool First coming out of Shiva. And I certainly hope that was not me. Three going into the gas right there. Lotso has his... Uh, He's going with her gateway opener, which is decent. Ooh, and then into an expand. So that's um interesting. Uh, we don't see that a whole lot. So these guys, uh, Lotso and Han, will definitely be ahead economically uh, starting off from um, Gator, the Shiva, and, uh, and, and Steam Jack. But we'll see, that also means that they don't have any offensive units. There's two Marines already sitting right here um, that could go up there and kind of um, cause some trouble if they really wanted to, because there's, there's a, a probe is, is the def and now uh, Zealot is the defense. So Cybernet's core, um, that is a pretty standard opener. A slightly delayed uh, second hatchery here, but the Zergling speed is already on the way. These three Marines are going to probably annihilate that overlord i don't think that overlord's getting saved especially with the queen coming in yeah that overlord's done but did that supply cap him it, well, i mean kind of it did he can't make any more units but he's not in the red so with this we got a tech lab and a reactor going on what what is he he's trying to hang out with <laughs> that was a silly suv Lings coming out. So this has been a pretty quiet game. They're pretty pacifistic um, so far. Lotso's <laughs> lone hero zealot working on this uh, this rock wall. Now this is good to make sure that this uh, this nobody's screwing with their rock wall. Now it's kind of a mixed blessing knowing that your opponents can only come from over here or in this case over here um on the flip side with this it is right up front it's pretty easy to get to you know but granted they do have 2000 health um and they're an armored structure so not exactly something easy to break through marauders out already it's not already marauders out engineering base he started anything in that he hasn't Ooh, he's a little bit uh low on the minerals it's got to put more on the gas, rather. 
Han's got a second queen down here. What he should do is transfer. Now that's interesting, an interesting choice. Oh, he's going up for roaches now. Let's see, what is Lotso going up for? Oh, he doesn't really have a whole lot of tech at the moment. War and army. So he's doing warp gate. So, uh-oh. All these links should get in there because they really don't have any army. And Han is moving out. So I don't know if they had the same idea and Gator is just executing it better or what's going on. But they definitely need to... He needs to see that and recognize that he needs to pull his lings back. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. He's got to pull them back at least until the rest of those lings get there. No. They got to be making lings. His whole force got picked apart. He should have turned and fought when they were over here. That should have been a turn and fight moment. And uh-oh. Here's the issue is that now there's no real defense to stop. Stop this rush. I mean, that spine crawler, but he's got to surround it with those. Otherwise, it's just going to die. Both of them. Well, so there goes that. And Lotso. I don't know if they're going to be able to hold this off. This is pretty. Uh, this is a pretty intense moment. Oh, yeah, that. Go, Hero Zealot, go! Okay, these roaches could save the day if they turn. Enough! Oh, man! They really needed to save that hatchery, though. That was a big, big thing. Move! Oh, that was a that was actually a pretty good save on the part of a uh, Lotso. So, but now these guys are definitely economically ahead. Though all these roaches are going to clean up these lings pretty well. What's coming out of these drones? Lots of drones. He's got to re-expand down there asap. And now those roaches pretty much stop any sort of ling play that's going to be coming out of uh, the Shiva. They also don't do too bad against a lot of these marines. Oh, he's got workers not moving. Factory coming up. We might see some drops. I don't know. We'll have to play it by ear. Spore crawler and two spines to, to hold off a defense. He's already planning on having this rock structure taken down. He obviously saw that Lotso was working on it, so... this lone uh, drone he's kind of a it's gonna be another spore crawler so this takes away all effectively all um, mutilus play it's effectively now strictly gonna be a roach hydra play with um, potentially some infestors and this will also take out mutilisks so after that, we got a quick engagement and then kind of a, a little bit of a relax. Uh, oh, goodness. I got a ding in the middle of my class. In the middle of my class. In the middle of my cast. So I don't know if he's... Is he coming over here to expand? Because if so, he's got to move his roaches. I think that's what he's going to end up doing is expanding over there again to make up for that. The other, ooh, Lotso's got a lot of tech back here. This is where all of it was going. Now, does he have any observers? Oh, so that observer is going to go... Let's see, what, what's there? He's got one observer right now that can see all... Well, most of this army. Oh, that observer gets taken out. All right, but they don't know about this base yet. a lot of, well, I mean, that's a good amount of. Okay, so after that, the build up of these armies is kind of, um, I mean, most of it's over here in these in these phoenixes for Lotso. It doesn't really have a whole lot on the ground, which could, I mean, it could either hurt or help them, um, depending. Now they've taken out really any ability to drop, um, but this being a, a strict a fairly strict ground force at the moment is not um, really playing and especially with these hydralists that's not going to really be the I don't feel like that's going to be a big uh, help for them 
all those phoenixes. But I've been known to be wrong once or twice before. I mean, especially if these phoenixes end up backing up Colossus or um, Void Rays or anything else coming out that's going to... Uh... Oh, but Deshiva sees it. He saw all of that. Yep, he saw all of that right there. However, Lotso is has expanded down here. He's got a little bit of a ground force down there. Oops, and all these roaches are going to come out. They are burrowed. But that doesn't really mean a whole lot against all of these turrets. <laughs> I don't think I I think that it will be a stretch for Han to get in there. On the flip side, he can take out this base, which would be not as much of a win as it was um, when his base was taken out for the other guys, uh, for the other guys for Steamjack and Shiva. But it definitely won't hurt, and especially now if these. Um, if, if these zealots can pull that army out of position and he can pop up and effectively trap and just kill that entire army and split them up. But I don't know if that's what they're going to end up doing. It looks like they're splitting up. Yep. He's going to get in there, but these are going to be seen. These are going to be seen. And that is a terrifying army if you are this and uh, we'll see if there's a scant no how did they... oh wow that thing has a really long range it saw them all the way out to there he does take out all of those uh oh no he does take out a, a good chunk of those banelings though meanwhile all these phoenixes are over here waiting to strike unfortunately they're not going to be getting into a whole lot of places um, anywhere at this point. I mean, they could kind of slip in right here, maybe pick off an Overseer, potentially get that Queen, but otherwise, there's not going to be a whole lot that they can do. He's, he's got to work on picking up that, that Queen and try to take that out in some way, shape, or form over anything else. All right. Han is still down here. Well, unfortunately... That wasn't nearly the damage that he really wanted to do with those. And I'm pretty sure Deshiva and Lotso are brothers, so they've played together enough that I'm pretty sure Deshiva saw this coming. Though no, this will be a great help. Not, I mean, not a great help, great help, but enough of a help that now, you, whenever you can take out part of the army for nothing... Although, you might lose that one phoenix! Ooh, and it made it. Um... You know, you really can't complain when you get something for nothing. So all this whole army is going to have to end up pulling down here, though, to really um, back up this front, because that's not a whole lot of ground forces, and those Phoenix will just melt away in front of these uh, Hydralisks and these Marines. But he sees that there's not a whole lot up there that's going to be defending them, so... Han really needs to get this army down into a position to more actively defend. And now Deshiva's out here getting his third base. Han has his third base, not fully saturated, not well, like partially saturated, but it's still a third base up there. Um, unfortunately, his natural isn't really looking that hot uh, as far as saturation goes. We'll see a lull. There's a lot of Marines there. That is going to be one hero colossus if uh, if they end up winning this fight. <laughs> Lings were scouting around, seeing what was what. Now where does the tech go from here? Okay, so now these phoenixes are going to come into play, um, at, and it's being useful. Medivacs are coming out of the field. These uh, Vikings are heading out. Um, Hypothetically, to counter the the Colossus. Oh, now Han. No, this is going to be bad. If, she, if, if lots of... Oh, there, he saw it, but he still ended... Oh, he loses two Phoenixes, and that's not... Uh, that's not all that great. On top of now, 
this all of these buildings. I, I'm pretty sure that up through like even that uh, tower are vulnerable to uh, th this high ground. But now with the Colossus, that's a, a much better fight to pick. Oh, and High Templar come out onto the field. The question is, at zero zeros, at one ones, I, you know, this is really shaping up to be a very uh, interesting game. And I'm actually... So I made the game, to, to be honest. I was kind of worried there for a minute. But this is shaping out to be a rather even, even game, I would say. Marauders over here. A couple of pylons out here for some quick, easy reinforcements. The train of overlords. And now this army. Now the key, though, here is going to be this army getting down here as soon as the action hits because right now this front oh and now void race coming out onto the onto the battlefield lots so he's really he's really taking some chances out here to get this uh base up here and if they let him take it this i mean we could be seeing things like carriers do we have a fleet beacon anywhere Is there a potential? I think there's a potential for a fleet beacon. We'll have to see. Oh, oh, Don, losing that. Now this is going to be, oh, so now these are 1-1s. One these are 1-1s. One this is going to turn into a, a that was a, <laughs> would have been rather interesting if it had played out more fully. Because I, I believe that there are more units coming from Han than there are coming from Gator. From Deshiva. Oh, no, I slip into that all the time. We'll have to see. This is now. I think that the scales are, are tipping a little bit. Seam Jack's army is a little um, scattered, to say the least. But these are there's a lot of Marines. Where did he scan? Nobody knows. So this is actually much more terrifying. I was worried for these guys in the very beginning. Because they didn't have a whole lot of army coming out. All these overlords hiding down in the corner. But now this is shaping up to be an even game. I cannot wait to see how this, uh, this all plays out. Ooh, two twos. And this might be where they're still on one ones. Does Han have... Oh, he doesn't have his engineer, engineering base. His evolution chambers are not working. He's got a whole lot of gas and not a whole lot of minerals. And that's where the saturation comes in. Honestly, this is one of those things that I have to work on on a regular basis. Is the saturation. Who in the world? Why is he putting down that many? He needs to be working on his upgrades. Although he is almost maxed out. We'll see. So it could still be... Decent. This is turning out to be like a really fair fight. I wasn't sure it was actually going to be this way. Are they going to end up pushing out? Okay. Pushing back some of that creep, which is good. That, that takes away some of uh, Deshiva's uh, sight. We'll take out some of those uh, more pesky, uh, I guess units just to to, to kind of keep a, that army down uh-oh uh-oh he doesn't want to lose that void ray now, here comes the big engagement so here you are han coming from the north with lotso coming from the east and Deshiva's caught in the middle where is the <gasps> this huge marine army was caught totally out of position oh and i think this is going to, oh all of those storms oh they cut that army in half Oh, and here they are, and this is, I think, the beginning of the end. I don't know if there's a way to come back, because that's a lot. That's a big army now. The Shiva's left the game. I think that he has seen that that's a, that's a significantly larger army, and the fact that those armies were caught just out of position like that was... Is, that's... I don't know, he had infestors. What, 
as all these broken festers everywhere. <coughs> and this whole army needed to be together at the very beginning of that. Now they're kind of, and I think they're on a move order. Oh, and that was just a, a, a misclick on that part. And there you go. Hobo Bacon's Han and Lotso are the winners of the game. Well, that was pretty intense there for a little bit. But that's it for Hobo Bacon later days.